Hi, I'm Mary McGee, Director of Fire Engineering Books and Videos. And I'm here at FDIC 2011, and I have next to me a man who really needs no introduction, Chief John Mittendorf. John, glad to see you. Hi. How are Hi, you? Mary. Thank you. How are you? Um, okay, so since everybody's already familiar with the legendary truck company operations, we won't go through that. What I'm going to ask um, Chief Mittendorf to do for us is go over what's different from this new second edition. Um, to the original version. And Chief, I'll just hand it over to you. You're probably talking about what's different in the book other than the cover, right? Other than the cover, Yeah, because right. the cover <laughs> the cover is a lot more uh, colorful. And of course, we put a platform on the cover, too, as, as compared to the other one. But <clears throat> we were just talking a little bit before we started doing this video, in, uh, and I and I said that I think one of the, uh, the primary differences is that once you do a book, the first edition, and I think most authors would agree with this, is that when you look at the finished product, you think, well, I wish I would have said this, or I wish I would have said that. And of course, a lot of things in the fire service changes. And so when you do a second edition, you have the opportunity to do a lot of things you wish you would have done in the first edition, or you can incorporate changes that have been, uh, I'd say, more current in the fire service. <clears throat> but in the book, some of the significant changes that we made, particularly in the first half of the book, is we included a chapter on reading a building and buildings all across the country, from the West Coast to the East Coast, and how you would, uh, how you would analyze them for your fire ground operations. In other words, if I was to say you have a fire in a building that's a center hallway or a garden apartment, uh, what does that mean to you from a fire ground perspective? Uh, we also include a chapter on apparatus from around the country, whether it's a rear mount, mid mount, platform, aerial, and uh, how different departments uh, like them as far as their positives and their negatives because there isn't one apparatus that's right for every condition. Uh, there's also a chapter on reading smoke for those people that have seen Dave Dodson's excellent class on reading smoke. This is kind of a reduced version of that, but I think a truck company perspective is, is one of the primary attributes is being able to read the building read the smoke and then be able to develop your fire ground priorities. Uh, another portion in the first chapter is how do you staff your people, how do you place them on the apparatus, the Ten Commandments of Truck Company Operations, one of which is I talk uh, at length on Recio, which I think most firefighters are familiar with, which I am not a fan of, and how do you prioritize fire ground operations when you get to a fire with maybe a staffing or three or four people. And so those are some of the major changes in, in this book, the second edition, as compared to the first edition. That's great. Chief, thanks for, for coming here and doing this for us, and we really appreciate you being part of the fire engineering family. You bet. It's my pleasure being here, Mary. Thank you very much. Thank you.